Hi you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Today is Vlogmas Day 5. So for this vlog, I thought it would be fun to do an updated Q&A because it's been a really long time since I've done one. I think the last time actually was last year's Vlogmas. I know I have a lot of new viewers and subscribers from the past year, so just for you guys to get to know me a little bit better and even if you have watched me for years, I feel like it would be a good time for you guys to get to know me even better. So I wanted to answer some questions that you guys asked me on Instagram and on YouTube. And also I'm going to do a get ready with me. I I just came back from brunch. I'm filming this after I did the get ready. Went to brunch today, so I wanted to film a get ready with me for brunch. I did everything. I did hair, skincare, makeup, and outfit. So I'll show you guys the products that I'm currently using in my get ready with me routine, and we'll answer questions. I'll probably be talking a lot, so stay tuned to see my get ready with me routine. Today was a hair wash day, so I just hopped out of the shower. We washed my hair. I want to show you guys the products I use on my hair in the shower and right now post shower when I'm styling my hair. So we're actually going to start off with skincare because yesterday I had somewhat of a cheat day where I had wine and sushi. So I am very bloated today. I want to try to get the puffiness down. I'm going to be using my Gua Sha. This helps to drain the lymphatic system in your face and it helps to kind of just like reduce puffiness. And I'm also going to be using my ice roller. So we'll do the ice roller first. Just kind of like wake my face up. And basically this just helps to um, get rid of puffiness short term. It's not like a long term solution. But kind of like instantly, right? When you do it, when you wake up. And also even if I don't have a cheat day, I'm just very bloated in the mornings. So um, just to help get rid of that like bloatingness from overnight. And also because of my cheat day. This helps to kind of short term get rid of it. So I just kind of like focus on my cheeks because the bloatedness is literally like from the eyes down. And now for my gua sha. So to help glide the gua sha over my face more smoothly, I use the Ren Skin Care Ever Calm Barrier Support Exilier. This is just like a facial oil. You can use any type of facial oil or any type of serum, whatever is like smooth to help you glide the gua sha with the rounded shorter edge. I start from the nose and I go up and out on both sides of my face just like that and then I like bring it down my neck kind of get rid of that excess fluids that build up in the lymphatic system that cannot drain itself and I do each side of the face for like 30 seconds just about and then I switch over and then I focus on my neck. I use again the rounded edge and I start from the top, bring it down. Okay, so my face is still a little bit puffy. Hopefully that goes down um, as time goes on, but I'm going to finish up with the rest of my skincare. I'm going to actually try out a new product that I haven't used before. This is from Ren. It's the Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream. I feel like this would be a good eye cream for the morning after just waking up to help brighten up your eyes. Another product from Ren, the Glow and Protect Serum. Some hyaluronic acid. This is from Clarity RX. And for moisturizer, we're going to be using one of my favorites lately, the Summer Fridays Jet Set Mask. It's very moisturizing, and I like how I can use it both day and night. Cannot forget the most important step, and that's sunscreen. I'm using Super Goop's unseen sunscreen it's spf 40 and that's all for skincare so before i do my hair i want to show you guys my in shower products currently using the way thick hair conditioner and shampoo i've heard a lot of mixed reviews about way shampoo and conditioners but personally it works really good for me it makes my hair smell and feel really good another staple hair product that i'm currently using is from igk color it's the color mask this is in bella brown i use this to just help keep my hair nice and brown and rich looking just to keep the color rich looking because i have blonde bleach blonde underneath this it's starting to get lighter like the blonde is starting to come out more so to keep it like a nice rich brown i use this like once maybe once every two weeks my in shower hair mask is the briogeo don't despair repair it's a deep conditioning mask. I've been obsessed with this mask for years. It makes my hair feel very smooth. And then body products, I do wash my face in the shower anytime I take a shower. So the facial wash I use is from CeraVe. It's the Renewing SA Cleanser. I just started using this. This is the Ren Skincare Atlantic Kelp in Magnesium. It's an anti-fatigue 
body wash. I use this exfoliator. This is the Kopari Body Bumps Be Gone. This is really good for people that have body bumps, like keratosis. I have keratosis all along my arms. I've had them since I was a little kid, so I started using this, and it really has helped the bumps kind of go down a little bit and smooth it out, so this has been so good with that. My shaving essentials, my Billy Razor, and my Flamingo Foaming Shave Gel. And I like to use a body oil when I shower just to help lock in moisture, so I've been using the um, body oil. This is just a generic brand from Target, but this is so smoothing to my skin and makes it smell really good too. So my leave-in hair products are some type of oil, leave-in conditioner, and serum and spray. So I'm currently using the Moroccan hair oil treatment for the oil, and then for leave-in conditioner, I'm using this one from Odell. This is a brand from Target. It helps for demoisture, detangling, and frizz control. I also use this Dove Hair Therapy Spray. It's a 7-in-1 Miracle Mist. It has a vitamin C amino serum, and it's a leave-in spray. And today I'm going to give my hair a blowout. So every time I give myself a blowout, I use the Perfect Smooth Blowout Lotion from Nature Lab. This stuff is seriously a miracle worker. It seriously makes my hair feel so so smooth and soft and the price point is amazing it's like $13 at Ulta so all these products I will link in my description by the way and then for heat protectant I'm gonna use this one from INH so normally I would let my hair air dry until it's like maybe 70 or 80 percent dry but I'm kind of in a rush so I'm gonna go ahead and just like start blow drying it I'm gonna be using the air dryer brush this one's also from INH inserting here and basically with the brush I just take like pieces and I brush inwards like I kind of curl it inwards towards my face so that it kind of like gives it like a nice like curl at the end so I'm basically just gonna do that the whole entire time The last thing I do is I take a little Velcro, Velcro, Velcro roller and I take my bangs and just to like give them more like bounce and more like volume. I keep this in my hair to like set my bangs in while I'm doing my makeup. Can't remember the last time I did a makeup routine. A lot has changed so I'm glad I'm doing this video to show you guys my updated makeup products and new techniques I'm using to put my makeup on. So first things first, this is a product I've always used for the past like year. These are the Versed Mood Lighting Glow Drop. This is like a good last step to your skincare routine to give your face a nice glowy, shimmery, but not like too shimmery look. Or you could also mix it into your moisturizer or your facial makeup to kind of, yeah, like give you a glow. But I just put like a few drops all over my face, mainly on like my high points so that my um, foundation can look nice and glowy. And foundation, I picked this up during the holiday savings event a few weeks ago. This is the House Labs Foundation by Lady Gaga. I'm in the shade 260, it's a light, medium, cool. It's the perfect coverage, it is medium coverage, so you don't need that much. Um, but I love it. So, okay, we're going to do a Q&A now. I will answer, I'll try to answer as many as I can. I got a lot on Instagram. So the most commonly asked questions are my age, my job, and then my, like, ethnicity, my race. So I am 29 years old. I'm turning 30 in a couple months. I don't know how to feel about it. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm also, like whatever it's just an age and the 30s are the new 20s so I'm kind of excited for that too I don't know I'm like kind of sad 
that my 20s are over but i'm like almost kind of relieved because my 20s were a hot mess girl like i can't even begin like if i had a youtube channel in my early 20s you guys would think i was just a hot mess but i learned a lot i went through so much um and i'm happy i made it through my 20s so i'm very thankful for all my experiences but I'm kind of sad that like my carefree years are over. I'm definitely not carefree anymore like I used to be. Um, so yeah, my birthday is February 10th. And to celebrate my 30th birthday, me and Anto are going on a trip. So I'm very, very excited for that. And so uh, my job, I am a full-time content creator. And YouTube is my main platform. I post vlogs and videos weekly. And I also am on Instagram and TikTok. I work a lot on there too with with brands and I post regularly on those platforms so if you don't follow me go give me a follow um, but yeah I went full-time in 2020 before then I was working in marketing communications and social media um, in the public health industry and basically I was just doing social media for like government health agencies so I've always had that experience in college I majored in <clears throat> communications so yeah I've always had that experience with communications and social media I've always had interest in that area so being a content creator was just like second nature to me it just was something that I've always wanted to do since I was a kid since YouTube was on the rise when I was in high school in like 2010 2011 is when I first started watching YouTube videos so it's something I've always wanted to do and I'm so happy that I've been doing this for two full years now full time i started in 2018 is when i started my like content creator journey so okay i'm gonna be using some concealer i am running out of my favorite concealer i normally use the kosas concealer but since i'm running out i'm gonna be using the l'oreal infallible full wear this is in the shade vanilla 355 and i'm also gonna put concealer on down here because i have like really red like lower cheeks right there and then i'm also going to contour with the lesman alta contour stick which is my like new favorite favorite con contour stick i picked this up during the sale as well the sephora holiday sale okay so my ethnicity slash race i guess is um half filipino my mom is filipino filipina i mean i guess i'm first gen on her side she immigrated here from the philippines when she was 21 and then she had me here with my dad when she was 28. My dad is white, so I'm half white, half Filipino. Whenever I tell people what I am, they're always so shocked. My whole life, I have gotten people thinking that I was Hispanic or like Italian or Brazilian. Mostly Hispanic is what I would always get. Someone asked, how long have you been with Anto? There's a lot of questions about Anto, actually. So basically, Anto is my boyfriend. I always talk about him on social media and like in my YouTube videos. So if you're kind of new to the channel, um, he is my boyfriend. We've been dating for seven years and I always get the question, when are you guys gonna get married and have kids? And our answer is always, we are in no rush for that. We are not ready for marriage and kids and that life yet. We are enjoying this time focusing on ourselves and our careers, being childless, like we're just kind of enjoying this time for as long as we can because we eventually do want that one day. I want three kids. I want two to four kids, but I think three is the perfect number. I want two boys and a girl. And someone asked, when is the Stephanie and Anto YouTube channel coming? Okay, so I know we hyped that up a couple months back and some life circumstances came up um, that really took up a lot of our time between in October and November so much stuff came up for example like I was having car issues I was having car issues we were both having like some health issues not to get too deep into it but basically like a lot of personal stuff came up and just to take on another YouTube channel is like out of our capacity for a workload we can handle so we currently don't know the status of that yet Anto is thinking of starting his own vlog channel so maybe not like us combined, but his own vlog channel because he used to do so many cool vlogs back before I ever started doing any type of social media. Um, he did so many cool vlogs. He is so funny and creative as a content creator. And my boyfriend, he is a YouTuber also. Anto has his own channel. He has over a million subscribers. He has been doing this for 10 plus years, maybe like 12, 13 years. 
he is the one that helped me get started with my YouTube channel and kind of, you know, taught me everything that I needed to know. So I am very blessed and thankful to have had him for that. Our combined vlog channel is still not off the table. We don't know. So 2023 will be like a fun year to kind of explore new ventures and new stuff like that. By the way, I'm using the Kosas um, cloud setting powder. I forgot to say, but I am obsessed with this stuff. I put it underneath here where the concealer was and then underneath my eyes so yeah we're keeping our options open we're kind of just like taking a break with like planning new things right now and just focusing like on each of our respective channels um i'm going to use bronzer now to kind of like contour a little bit more i'm using the dior forever bronzer in the color amber bronze someone asked how has it been being a full-time youtuber um, yeah, so I always get questions about like my journey as being a full-time content creator since I started off and a lot of you guys remember me as, you know, a girl who used to work a nine to five corporate job and also did YouTube and then quit my job, like kind of as my channel was kind of started to like get out there a little bit more. Like when I hit a hundred thousand subscribers is around the time I quit my uh, corporate job. So in the past two years since I've been doing this full-time, I've absolutely been loving it. I will say though, especially in recent months, there's been times where I'm kind of getting like worn out or like a little bit burnt out or having like creative blocks, which I feel like is normal in any career field, but especially in this, you know, job career field, it is harder because you constantly like have to create like ideas and content and take things up a step, take things up a notch just to keep things, you know, like interesting. So I will say though, um, this year I really kind of faced that a lot more than the previous year. Um, but regardless, I still love what I do and I still would not trade this for any other job in the world. Someone asked if there are any more planned updates to the apartment. So as of right now, no. I pretty much got everything done that I wanted to. I got all my new furniture. The couch was like the last missing piece that I was waiting on. I cannot spend any more money. I dropped so much money on the new furniture and all that stuff. So I like don't need to do any more updates, but I also like literally cannot because I cannot spend any more money. I'm like telling myself, no, no, no. I'm so happy with how the apartment turned out. Um, I love, 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 love the new couch, the new living room, the new furniture. It's everything I had envisioned. So I'm perfectly happy with how it turned out and I don't really have any plans as of now. Okay, blush. I'm going to be using my favorite, favorite, favorite right now. It's from RMS Beauty and it's in the shade Hanky Panky. It is the perfect, 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 perfect winter shade. Please look how gorgeous that is. Someone asked if me and my boyfriend Anto is still planning on getting a puppy. We talk about this all the time. We always see our neighbors like walking their dogs and oh, dogs are so cute like we love them but the thing is I feel like I'm a little bit more hesitant than he is because I know that taking care of dogs especially a puppy is so much work and I'm just nervous that I don't have enough time to like cater to a new dog or a new puppy. I feel like it would be better for us to get an older dog or to get a puppy and have it trained but I'm just scared because I know but that puppies are a lot of work. Anto thinks differently. He thinks that like it'll be fine and like we can handle it. But I just have anxiety in general. So I have anxiety with that. But I don't know. Yeah, it's still on the table. I don't know. Maybe that's something in 2023 that we will do. What are your goals for 2023? Okay, so the one goal that I really, really want to focus on in the new year is managing my finances, being more financially smart, making smarter investments, saving my money, and just being more fiscally responsible. I feel like I got really overwhelmed and stressed with um, managing my finances, especially when it comes to like tax season. It's so hard for finances when you're in this field. I'm using the AOA eyebrow, slim brow brush to do my eyebrows. These cost $1 on Shop Miss A, and I have like 30 of them in stock because they're so good. They're honestly the exact same as the Anastasia Beverly ones. It's like such the perfect dupe for it. So that's my main goal is just being more fiscally responsible and making smarter investments with my money and also not spending it on like stupid stuff like clothes and bags and shoes. I literally don't need any more of that stuff. I know I'm still gonna shop. I don't know. I just can't avoid it. It's just how I am, but just like limit it a little bit more. I need to get my eyebrows done. Another goal of mine is to like not stress myself out so much with work and not feeling so pressured to push myself to like work too hard because I see other people doing it not to compare my work ethic with other people's work ethic I think there's a lot there I can improve on so work is always 
a goal for me in the new year. I'm gonna ask anything I'm looking forward to next year. Yes, I'm looking forward to all the trips I'm going on. I'm finally gonna start going on trips. It's been so long since I've taken a nice, vacation or just gone anywhere i went like two places this year i went to miami with my girls and then me and anto did that like southern road trip those were super fun don't get me wrong but i've been to miami so many times and i just have been wanting to go like somewhere like out of the country so we're finally gonna do that i don't want to say where though because i think i mentioned before i have a branded video coming out soon and it's gonna be all about like what my plans are for my 30th birthday so um just hinting that it's gonna be a very tropical place and it's booked and I'm we're ready to go. It's gonna be in February on my 30th birthday and I'm so, so, so excited. So I'm gonna set my eyebrows with the Refi like eyebrow gel. And one of my best friends, Kelsey, is turning 30 also. Basically next year is the year that me and all my friends like turn 30 basically, or not all of them, like half of them. So one of my best friends is turning 30 in May and she wants to go to Vegas. I haven't been to Vegas in like seven years. So that'll be fun. And then Anto is turning 32. He's turning 30 in July. And he wants to go to Paris for his 30th birth, birth. It's so hard to say 30th birthday. 30th birthday. Okay, you get the point. So he wants to do that. So um, that's not booked yet, but we are really gonna plan for that and try to make that happen. Basically, everyone that's turning 30 next year, we want to go somewhere. We do not want to be in Maryland when we turn 30 and it's very understandable. I'm just excited for the next chapter of my career. I feel like each year my career progresses even more and I'm so thankful for that. And so that's why I'm never too hard on myself or I try not to be because I know every year is a marathon, it's not a race. So just the little amount of progress I make each year, I'm so thankful for. And I feel like next year I wanna try to take it up a notch and try to focus on maybe, you know, venturing other things like my own business or something else that I can do outside of creating content. I don't wanna just create content forever. I wanna like kind of take that and branch out and kind of do other ventures. So that's something I've had in the back of my mind for the past like couple years. So maybe next year that could be another goal of mine is to like take that step into figuring what that's gonna be what that's gonna look like I'm gonna do my eye makeup now I've been using this palette for probably like the past four or five years but it's been amazing this is the narcissist I don't even think they make this palette anymore but there is one color that I just use every single day as you can tell that is the one color I use of this palette I need to see if NARS sells just this color it's called Castile. Yeah, I just feel like brown eyeshadow brings out brown eyes someone wants me to tell the stories of how I met Ida who you guys might um, have seen in yesterday's vlogmas and the rest of my girls. So yeah, I actually got a lot of questions about like how I met all my friends because, you know, we hang out a lot. We all try to do uh, get-togethers even though we're all adults and like it's actually getting harder for us to hang out because we are all so busy with like work but we always try to do like something like every month like a couple times a month we all try to like plan get together so Ida you probably know her the best because she's in a lot of vlogs so I think I talked about it yesterday but I met her in school actually and I actually have met all of my like best friends I met them all when I was like a kid so I'm very thankful that I have kept my childhood friends because I will admit it is kind of harder to make close friends as an adult it's not impossible like there are ways you can like go out and network and like kind of connect with people Ida I met her in elementary school in the third grade I transferred to a new school and she was a grade younger than me so we were always very friendly we were pretty close in middle school we were in choir together I was in choir from like the fifth grade to all the way to 12th grade so I used to sing a lot at school but yeah we were really close when we were in choir in middle school and then high school we went to the same school but she was always a grade younger so we were always like really friendly we would like say hi to each other but we would never like hang out and we're never really um like super super close but um college we started hanging out and um we would hang out like every day we like became best friends so that's how i met her and then my other friends i'm not sure if you know them all by name i'm gonna have to do a vlog where i literally introduce them all by name but yeah my other friend kelsey she's been my best friend since third grade too when i transferred to you know my new school we had classes together and then in high school we cheered together so we were on the same cheer squad and then we also went to college like right down the street from each other i went to salisbury university and then she went to umes which was like down the street so she would come to like salisbury to take classes there she would literally take naps in my dorm room when she would come to campus angela and faith are my um family friends our moms were like all friends so i met them when i think i think i was like in eighth grade it was like high school 
I believe, um, and we were super close in high school. We would hang out all the time. And then in college, we kind of all stopped talking for a little bit, but then we reconnected, I think around like 2017, 2018. Um, I mean that happens with friends, you know, you are super close and then you guys go your separate ways and then you kind of lose contact for a few years and then you like reconnect so I'm very thankful to have reconnected with them and then Jane She's also in our like friend group. She was a co-worker of Angela So we kind of all like came together and we're like a big group of friends now And then we all started going on girls trips together. We've been on so many trips together We've been to New York together. We've been to Miami. I think a couple times we've been to Mexico together So we always try to do an annual girls trip and I I think next year we all we want to go to Canada oh I think for my 30th birthday I'm gonna do a separate girls trip before my tropical trip with Anto and we are thinking about going to a cabin like in like a nice snowy cozy cabin so that'll be a trip and then we're all going to Kelsey's 30th birthday and then oh faith is turning 30 in October so yeah we just love taking trips we all love to like go on nice dinners and have fun and I'm very thankful to have a group of friends that I'm able to do that with. Oh, someone asked me what my favorite shows are. So I have my like sitcoms that are like my comfort shows that I will watch and not pay attention to because I watched the series at least a hundred times. My number one is probably Friends. My next favorite comfort show is The Office. And then next after that is probably Modern Family. And then after that, it's probably New Girl. Okay, for my lips, I'm going to line them with Morphe liner and Sweet Tea and then a MAC lipstick in the color Cherish. What has been my highlight of 2022? Hmm, let me think. I don't think anything really stands out as being a super top highlight of the year. I just think I'm more happy with how the year turned out, meaning like everyone that I love is still healthy and safe. Like when I say my prayers every night, I pray for all my loved ones to make sure that they are happy and safe and living a good life and at peace and protected by God. So I think the highlight is just that we all made it through the year. You know, life is not getting any easier as we're all getting older. So I just pray for, you know, all of the people in my life to continue to have a good life and to continue to be safe. So I think honestly, that's my highlight. I'm gonna be using a gloss, the Revolution Skincare Lip Protector. It's an SPF too. I like to use SPF on my lip. I forgot to do eyeliner. I'm gonna be using my Stila stay all day waterproof eyeliner. All right, I think we have time for one more question. Ooh, this person left so many good questions. I think I answered a few of them, but they also asked, tell us five things about you that you haven't shared on your channel. Hmm, let's see. I have a fear of roller coasters and rides. When I go to the amusement park, I do not go on any rides. I am the boring one that will go to the wave pool and just swim in the pool and just eat food and that's all. I have a deathly fear of rides and it stems back to when I was a kid. I was like five years old we went to the local carnival and it was one of those like spinny rides where you turn the wheel and it spins kind of like the teacups at Disney World and the kids that I was sitting with they were probably twice my age they're probably like 10 11 12 they would not stop spinning that ride and I was not expecting that I was super traumatized I was crying they had to stop the ride so I could get off my dad had to carry me and we went straight home I hate rides I hate roller coasters I really don't like amusement parks in general except Disney World I don't know if anyone would care and let me knock on wood before I say this I am a really great driver not to toot my own horn but I am I have never been in a car accident knock on wood I'm an excellent parallel parker I'm an excellent reverse reverse backward um parker there's probably so many times i could have been in car accidents but i haven't been because i'm very attentive when i drive i like to eat literally every single food i am not picky at all there is nothing i won't eat except squid and octopus but other than that i will literally eat any country's cuisine i am not a picky eater i will literally eat anything and i feel like that also stems back to my childhood where i used to eat so much filipino food Growing up, Filipino cuisine is like one of my favorites. And I would like to learn how to cook more of these like international cuisines that I love to eat. Like I wanna learn how to make pad thai. I wanna learn how to make chicken biryani. Like all of these foods I love and I really wanna learn how to make. I was an athlete in high school. I'm not saying I was the best athlete, but I did a lot of sports. I did track, field hockey, softball. I tried tennis for like a week, wasn't good at it. And cheerleading is like the sport I did the longest. I did cheerleading for three years. Oh, and again, not to toot my own horn, but I always forget I was homecoming queen my senior year. Yeah, they voted me homecoming queen. I don't know how that happened. I was very shocked. Somehow I won. So I don't think I've ever told anyone that ever. Like I never talk about that. I haven't talked about that in like 15. When did I graduate? I graduated in 2011. I haven't talked about that in like 11 years. So I just couldn't think of anything else to say. So, okay, you guys, I'm done with my makeup. I'm gonna take these out now very voluminous 
So I'm going to pick out my outfit now. I will show you guys the final outfit and the final look, and then we're gonna get ready to go. So for the OOTD of the day, I'm wearing this gorgeous dress that I just got from Naked, N-A-K-D. It's like a sweater dress. It does have cutouts on the side, so I'm definitely gonna wear some sort of jacket over this. And I think they call this like a kimono dress style. The sleeves are like nice and big, and that's kind of what sold me on it. And the print I just am so obsessed with. It's like a um, tiger print, animal print, brown and black. One of my favorite color combos of the season. And for accessories, I have on some gold hoops. I have on a necklace and these sunglasses I'm going to wear. I got these from, I think, Nordstrom. I just thought this whole outfit was like very retro with like the tiger print. I feel very 70s right now, so I thought the glasses would be a cute touch. And then my bag is from Amazon and my boots. These are my favorite leather boots of the season. They are tall boots and these are from Vince Camuto. They are the comfiest boots too. Very cute and comfortable, so that's why they're like my go-to. So here's the OOTD. I don't have any rings on. I'm gonna go put some rings on and some perfume. I think for today I will use my Victor and Rolf flower bomb. And for rings, I'll just wear, let's see, a few couple random ones. I kind of just throw these on. I don't really care which ones I wear. So this is the ring situation. This one is from Bracha. This one I think is from a small business. This one is Amazon and then this one is also Amazon. All right, you guys. So that's all for this video. I'm ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this one. I will try to link all the products I use in the description. I use a ton of products, so I will try my best to remember to link all of them. And thank you all for your questions. I hope you guys got to know me a little bit more better. So that's all for today's video. I'm gonna end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.